now going to start for ninth class and tenth class both cube void cube rectangular box cross section this much is given in ninth class and rest are in tenth class after cylinder in your syllabus from code started first is cube void first topic is cube void then solid is three dimensional geometrical figure solid is a three dimensional geometrical figure which occupies a space which occupies a space three dimensional means length just like one example this one also is solid length breadth and height length breadth and height are three dimensions and the space suppose this space is occupied this solid is called volume the space occupied by solid is volume and the first solid is cuboid cuboid the rectangular rect, uh, in cuboid rectangular base is cuboid has rectangular base in which uh, base is a rectangle and three dimensional means height also given it is cuboid length breadth and height length breadth and height then how many uh, how many surfaces in cuboid this example is for cuboid it is cuboid then you can uh, count how many faces how many 1 2 3 4 5 six six faces are there then area of all these faces is called total surface area the area of all these faces is called total surface area in the same way in the same way there suppose this cube in this cuboid first the total surface area how many faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 faces in which your this left right both are same both are same suppose it is l b and h then this one and this one both are same it means how many areas there the base is b and height is h this also rectangular uh, surface rectangular shape surface it is b into h b h plus b h this one and that one both b h b h length into breadth b h into b h in the same way uh, top and bottom top and bottom then what is area of bottom length into breadth and same area top also length into breadth it means plus l b plus l b plus now for front and back front and back it means this two front and back then what is there l and h length into height it is l h and two faces this this one and this one both of same area it is l h l h now think how many is are there 2 b h plus 2 l b plus 2 l h now we can write total surface area is 2 b h 2 l b plus 2 plus 2 l h it is a total surface area total surface area it means total surface area is equal 2 into b h plus l b plus 
एल एच दैट इज टोटल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ अ क्विक क्यूब वर्ड इन द सेम वे वॉट इज वॉल्यूम नो नो फर्स्ट आई थिंक ऑलवेज इन एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ फोर वॉल फोर वॉल ऑफ ए रूम लाइक दिस देन वॉट इज द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ फोर वॉल फोर वॉल दैट मीन्स टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ फोर वॉल्स फोर वॉल्स मीन्स एक्सक्लूडेड टॉप एंड बॉटम ओनली your this face this face this face this one included then length into height Le length into height and two faces of length into height it is a 2 l h 2 l h this one in the same way this two are also included in four wall that is height and breadth 2 plus 2 H B then common is two H and L plus B. Now remember this formula: the total surface area of four walls, only four walls of a room, is equal to H into L plus B. We can say the lateral surface area also. This side surfaces are lateral surfaces area. That is total surface area of four walls is equal. 2 lh plus 2 hb 2 h is common l plus b and after this volume volume of any cube void the rectangle surface the base is rectangular surface and if this rectangular surface is multiplied by h that means total uh, space occupied this body occupied by this uh, solid that is a volume volume is equal the area of area of base into height it is l into b l into b into h that's why always remember volume of cuboid is l into b into h that is volume one more thing is important for you the diagonal of cuboid what is diagonal of cuboid generally for rectangle one uh, one face imagine one face then their rectangle uh, diagonal is like this is like this diagonal and uh, diagonal for the cuboid that means from this corner to this corner the line joining this corner to this corner that is that means joining from this corner to this corner it is a diagonal that is the number this one is second number it is third now the th imagine the rectangle rectangle a b c this also a right angle triangle right angle triangle height is h and base is bc root under l square plus b square now length of diagonal of cuboid is fourth number length of diagonal is equal root under by pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem diagonal length is equal base square plus height square it is l square plus b square and in whole square this square square root is removed so plus height square that is the length of this diagonal ac this one diagonal because if cross sectional we will join it that is the base and from base in uh, base uh, is also a rectangle 
That's why their diagonal is root under L square plus H square. L H L H L square plus B square. L square plus B square is diagonal. And this diagonal is as base for this rectangle. Right angle rectangle and this one is height. So this diagonal that means cuboidal diagonal is equal root under L square plus B square plus H square. It is an uh, old uh, formula for cuboid. Next your topic is cube. Next topic is cube. Second number. First is over. Second number is Cube. For cube, everything is same like cuboid. Only the length, length, breadth and height all are same. For cube, length, breadth and height all are same. That means six squares are there in surface. One square, one more square. And join their corner. It means six faces. Again, front, back, left, right, up, and down. Six squares are there. And what will be total surface area? Total surface area. Total surface area. Area of one square, because all squares are same, length, breadth, height are same, that means all squares are same. So, one square area is equal length into breadth. One square area is equal length into breadth. But length and breadth both are same. So, L into L, all are same. One square area is equal L square. And it multiplied by 6, it means 6 area of a square. 6 into area of a square. 6 uh, squares area. 6 L square. That is the total surface area is 6 L square. Understood? It is 6 L square. Now the surface area of wall. Surface area of walls or curved surface area, curved surface area or surface areas of wall. Then how many surfaces there? One, two, three, four, only four. Uh, don't include top and bottom because their wall area only required. That's why their first this one is L square, L square and back same area, L square, left L square and right is again L square and adding all it is 4 L square. Then surface area of walls is equal 4 into side square and formula is 4 into side is square that is a surface area of four walls surface area of four walls okay now volume 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 is equal area of base area of base Multiplied by height. As area of base. Base is a square. So their area is L square. Is it? Area is L square. Into height. Height also L. That's why multiplied by length. Side. So it is L cube. It means side cube. Side cube. Cube, side. cube of side. That is volume. Volume of Cube. In the same way, now 
diagonal also like cuboid they are also diagonal they are joined the cross co like this and the base is like this for this one it is like this and again it is right angle triangle again it is right angle triangle suppose a b c it is right angled at b now what is bc diagonal for diagonal diagonal is equal root under by pythagoras theorem diagonal is equal bc square bc square plus ab square now bc square bc square is equal l square plus l square because all sides are same so l square plus l square bc square is l square plus l square and plus ab square is again l square it means root under 3 l square and root 3 is there and remove the square root it is root 3 l now diagonal of cube diagonal of cube is equal root 3 l now there are 1 2 3 and 4 is four formula all formula you have to remember for cube completed next your topic is rectangular box rectangular box just i am explaining how to find out their length and breadth height etc and then it is empty in the middle it is empty just like this cylinder it is empty in the middle in the same way this box is empty then how to calculate their length breadth and height if uh, in exercise question is given to find out their volume surface area or uh, um, or total surface area like this question then suppose length of this cuboid this box is of cuboidal shape then length is l total length is l breadth is b and height is h then for internal length internal length that means suppose we have to find capacity of this box then capacity of this box is external volume minus internal volume then to find out the internal volume we need to calculate the length of internal internal uh, portion and this length is l then a b c d e length is equal total length and suppose thickness is x that thickness is x thickness is given x thickness is given x then internal length is equal actual length l minus this portion this portion this x and again there also x it means minus x minus x 1 x from this side and 1 x from this side then this length will come it means l minus 2 x their internal length is l minus 2 x in the same way internal uh, internal breadth breadth is equal this is actual breadth minus subtract this uh, this length minus this length their thickness thickness is x everywhere thickness is x so b minus x minus is always subtract 2x because this side and this side both x then internal length will come it is b minus 2x b minus 2x in the same way suppose internal height
internal height is h this one is height h and again we will subtract their thickness in height also x uh, 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 there may be your box two type one is open box and another is closed box if it is open then down only x we will subtract if box is open that means only x we will subtract h minus x and if it is closed then upper thickness also x that time we will subtract h minus 2x internal height is h minus x if box is open if box is open and if box is closed that time it is h minus 2x is closed it means upper thickness and bottom thickness x and x like this face it is h minus 2x in this way length breadth and height we can calculate in the rectangular box and easily you can find out uh, uh, according to your need uh, total surface area curved surface area or volume and anything you have to find it is it clear next your topic is cross section next topic is a cross section what is cross this word is always used in mensuration for all solid uh, cross sectional area cross sectional portion first of all suppose uh, cross section means uh, suppose uh, one like this given and uh, make two cut at this point a and this point b suppose uh, make cut one in this portion and again at uh, this portion then their surface will be like this their surface is uh, like this for is like this and again suppose at b one more cut i want to take and when we open this then their surface is coming like this it is like this when you cut the at two point a and b then this surface is like this rectangle there then this like this portion it is like this and this cut is also at of same area both are of same area uh, like base and top everywhere it is same then this portion is cross section portion it is cross sectional portion it is called a cross sectional portion and if all surfaces are of same area everywhere it is same that means uniform cross section it is called uniform cross section everywhere it is same all areas are same that's why it is uniform cross section in the same way cylinder suppose take one cut at this point and after cutting that put that area is same like base and top all are same that is the cross sectional portion this cross sectional portion and everywhere same that is uniform three dimensional where length breadth and height all are given it is right angled cone that means their height is 
perpendicular to the base. The height is perpendicular to the base. It is absolutely right angle. That is, now base is circle. Base of core is always, it is absolutely circle. This is circle. And uh, circle how to get any right angle triangle, any right angle triangle is revolved round any side of this triangle. Suppose it is a right angle triangle given and sides means this, this two, these two are sides, it is hypotenuse. Now along any one side, suppose or, or with a perpendicular revolving round this, then you can get like this cone. That is a cone. In this way, we can get the cone. Now, already I told it is a circle. If we revolve round any side of the right angle, then total base is like this circle. Like this circle. And radius, suppose it is r, a small r. Height is h. And this height is called slant height. It is L. It is L called slant height. A, B, C, D. Suppose on same base we imagine a cylinder. Then the, if we imagine one cylinder, then of same height, then volume of cone, volume of cone is always equal to one third of this cylinder of same base and same height, of same base and of same height. Volume of cone, volume of cone is equal one third of the volume of cylinder of same base and same height. First I am calculating there surface area and other things then now curved surface area curved surface area again curved portion this portion area this portion area only that means uh, base don't include that is curved surface area curved surface area it is called lateral surface area also curved surface area is pi r l pi r l r l let slant height is denoted by l and total surface area is equal total surface area is equal curved surface area curved surface area plus area of base of base and base is circle so curved surface area is pi r l plus base is pi r a square. Now pi is common and r also then l plus r. Actual formula of total surface area is pi r common l plus r. It is total surface area. Now volume volume is equal 1 by third of, uh, of uh, the volume of cylinder. It is 1 by 3 into pi r a square H. Cylinder already I explained in my previous uh, video. So if you uh, imagine one cylinder of same base and height, then volume of cone is equal 1 by third of that uh, cylinder. Pi r square h. It is a cone. Everything. A sphere is a solid revolving a circle around a, a, a revolving a circle around its diameter any diameter any diameter that is the sphere just like your football just like a, a football if a circle we will revolve a circle we will revolve along its diameter we will revolve along its diameter so this circle in three dimension Imagine it is diameter and when we will revolve it around this diameter, then we can get like this a sphere. Just like your football, that is a sphere. Now, the 
वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पेयर एंड एरिया सरफेस एरिया ऑफ स्पेयर सरफेस एरिया ऑफ स्पेयर इज इक्वल वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पेयर इज इक्वल फोर बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब एंड सरफेस एरिया ऑफ स्पेयर इज इक्वल फोर पाई आर इट इज सरफेस एरिया ऑफ स्पेयर इज इक्वल फोर पाई आर एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पेयर इज इक्वल फोर बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब दट इज द स्पेयर एंड नाउ स्पेरिकल स्पेरिकल से spherical shell it is a, a spherical shell it is the solid enclosed between two concentric sphere it is a, enclosed between two concentric sphere that means uh, inside the sphere it is hollow and two concentric sphere that is uh, the uh, spherical shell it is a, a spherical shell spherical cell the it is like this this is in two dimensional it is like this suppose their thickness this radius is capital r external radius is capital r internal radius is a small r let external radius radius is equal capital r and internal radius is equal a small r then their thickness of a sphere thickness of a sphere thickness is equal capital r minus a small r capital r minus a small r and uh, that the volume of uh, this a spherical cell is equal volume is equal volume is equal 4 by 3 pi capital r cube 4 by 3 capital r cube minus 4 by 3 pi a small r cube pi a small r cube that means external volume minus internal volume that is the volume of material of that solid that's why if we have to find the volume of their sphere it means 4 by 3 pi r cube their external volume minus internal volume 4 by 3 pi r cube it is 4 by 3 is common pi also that means r cube minus a small r cube it is a volume of the material which is used in a sphere external volume minus internal volume 4 by 3 pi r cube minus r cube external volume you can find out 4 by 3 pi r cube internal also known 4 by 3 pi a small r cube there the material is 4 by 3 pi r cube minus a small r cube hemi sphere hemisphere hemisphere when a solid sphere is cut through its center through its center into two identical pieces then it is called hemisphere when a sphere is cut through its center into two identical two identical is hemisphere then the volume of volume of hemisphere 
is equal just to half of the volume of total sphere. Half of the volume of whole sphere. It is 1 by 2 into whole sphere. Volume is equal 4 by 3 pi r cube. Pi r cube. 2 to the 4 it means 2 by 3 pi r cube. That is volume of any sphere. Half of the volume of whole sphere is the volume of the hemisphere. In the same way, if volume of the area, that means the total surface area is equal, volume of the curved surface area, sorry, uh, curved surface area, total surface area, surface area is equal the half of the surface area of whole sphere half of surface area of sphere plus area of circle that means their base area of circle is equal half Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square plus area of circle is equal pi r square. This is 2 to the 4. Now 2 pi r square plus pi r square is 3 pi r square. That's why the total surface area of this sphere is 3 pi r square. Because that all spherical portion plus their uh, circular in the, in this portion is a circle area of circle it is 1 by 2 4 pi r square plus pi r square that is 3 pi r square okay now your all topic completed of uh, uh, mensuration